Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how it's possible to turn metals different colors without painting them. If you've ever taken a piece of steel and heated it, you'll notice that it changes color a little bit. Now stainless steel shows some pretty cool colors, but they're not very vibrant. But if you grab a different material like titanium, then some more vibrant colors show up. I have here a titanium coin, let's heat it up and see what colors show up. You can see that it's almost rainbowish what we see. We see kind of a grayish metal color, and then it turns to yellow, then bluish, greenish, and then purple, violet, and pink. And they're kind of spread out like a rainbow. Now the reason this is happening is because there's an oxide layer building up on the surface of the titanium. And we did this by heating it and it was oxidizing in the air. But there's actually a better way to control this. You'll notice that I don't get a very even color along all this. But if we do it a different way, we can control that thickness very precisely and we can get the specific color that we want on the titanium. This is called anodization of titanium. So first I need an electrolyte to do this. The first thing we do is add some trisodium phosphate to a liter of water. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon to it. It doesn't have to be trisodium phosphate. It can just be anything that makes ions in the water. You can even use just table salt. Then I take my electrolyte solution and I hook my negative electrode to this. Now this electrode can be made of almost anything, I just have it made out of graphite here. And then you want your positive electrode to be connected to your titanium. Okay, so I have a little piece of titanium here. Let's start off at 10 volts. At 10 volts we get this bronze color. Let's go 15 volts. That makes it a little bit darker. 30 volts, it should start to turn a little bit blue. Look at 40 volts, that's a pretty color. Then what's interesting now is it starts to lighten up again as we go higher. So we're at 50 volts now, but we're at kind of this light blue color. Now we're getting to this golden color. So I have this nice pink color. Turn it up as high as we can go. The reason this is happening is because we're actually forming a small layer of titanium dioxide on the surface of the titanium. It's reacting with the oxygen in the air. But titanium dioxide is actually clear in color. It just looks white because of all the small little grains diffusing the light around. Kind of like the reason that snow looks white even though ice is clear. So if titanium dioxide is clear, how are we actually getting these different colors on the surface of the titanium? The reason is because when light hits the surface of the titanium dioxide, some of it gets reflected and some of it passes through. The amount that passes through gets reflected off the metallic titanium and then gets reflected back up. Now the light that went through that small titanium dioxide layer took a little bit longer to get through there. So if you look at the peaks and valleys of the light waves, you'll notice that they don't line up exactly anymore. So depending on the thickness of the titanium dioxide, sometimes the light waves will line up and then sometimes they won't line up. When they don't line up, you get destructive interference, meaning it lessens the amount of light coming off of the surface. And when it does line up, you get constructive interference, so it looks a little bit brighter. One way to control the thickness of that titanium dioxide is by the voltage that we put on our electrode. The higher the voltage, the thicker the titanium dioxide layer we can get. So at this point, when the titanium looks bluish, that means that it's absorbing the red light and the green light, it's not reflecting it anymore. So the reason that the titanium has this rainbowish color is because we're using white light, which has reddish, greenish, and bluish wavelengths of light in it. The light that comes off this thin layer of titanium dioxide is the same reason why we see colors in bubbles, because bubbles are this thin layer of liquid and air, and it does the same thing as titanium dioxide on titanium. So you can see if I make this bubble surface here, we see the same colors that we saw spread on the titanium. Now before we end, I'd like to thank Micro Center for sponsoring this video. If you watch my channel, I'm guessing that you love technology. Micro Center is one of the best locations for shopping for almost any technology need that you have. They have desktops, laptops, computer components, monitors, TVs, and networking equipment. Also, let's say you want to build your own computer as opposed to just buying one out of the box. Well, you have to be really careful to make sure that everything's compatible and that it works well together. So you can use Micro Center's online PC builder tool to make sure that all the parts that you buy are compatible and work together. And if you're a little bit nervous to assemble it, you can just check the box marked Same Day Pro Assembly and an expert will assemble your PC for you. This is really nice because it gives you the benefit of having a custom PC, but also lets you know that it's going to work in the end. 
You can check them out online or even go to one of their 25 locations across the U.S. Also, if you have any questions or just want to discuss technology with other people, you can check out Micro Center's online community where you can ask questions and get suggestions for new technology needs. Right now, Micro Center is offering a free 128 gigabyte flash drive and a 128 gigabyte micro SD card if you click the link in my description. So check out Micro Center today. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.